All right, so I'm going to show you how you can, uh, starting with the single phase flow, uh, one dimensional problem that uh, we worked in CMG earlier, we can modify that relatively easily to solve a multi phase flow Buckley Leavitt problem. So we'll start with the problem that I originally called uh, test problem dot dat. Um, the subject of this is in another video earlier in the semester. Um, so we can just start here. It gives us a little shortcut in setting up the problem. Um, but basically, we're going to go uh, reservoir create grid. Uh, and we're going to go 3, 1, 1. <coughs> uh, so to compare it to our Buckley Levitt problem that are in the, that's in the test, uh, we had uh, three grid blocks um, that add up to essentially 10,000 feet. Uh, so we'll put those uh, in the I direction. Sorry, that should be 3 times 333, uh, 311. And that's going to reset a lot of things. Um, so we need to go into array properties and change quite a few values, or a few values here. So we're going to change um, the grid thickness to be 30. This, again, just corresponds with our test problem. Uh, we're going to change the porosity to be uh, 0 0.2 0 .2 over the whole grid. Uh, we're going to change the permeability uh, to be 100 millidrc. Um, we're going to change the oil saturation and water saturation values. So in this case, the water saturation uh, is 0 0.2, and the oil saturation is 0 0.8. And the initial pressure is 1,000. That's all we need to change there. Uh, we see we got a green check mark on array properties now. So the next thing we're going to do is go to components. Um, we're going to go to PVT region one. We're going to change um, the compressibility of the water and oil to one e to the minus five. That's what it was in our example. apply, go back to the PVT table. And here we want to change <coughs> all the um, formation volume factors to 1, again, to correspond to our problem. viscosity of oil values also to 1. Apply. Uh, so then we can hit OK and go to raw fluid, uh, raw fluid types. to go to tools, generate tables using cor correlations, and and this is where we're going to put in the parameters for the Corey Brooks functions. So Okay, uh, okay, and then there you see uh, our relative permeability versus saturation plots. It should look familiar to you. Uh, 
The next thing we want to do is go to initial conditions, PVT region parameters, use property array, constant value, and we're going to set this to 700. So we're going to set it to something relatively low so that we don't have gas coming out of solution. So now we're going to go to wells. Uh, we're going to add a new well. It's going to be a mob wave injector with a constraint definition to operate at a constant surface water rate of 76.96 barrels per day. That corresponds to 426 and a half cubic feet per day, which is identical to um, our example problem. Uh, with that well, we need to place it in a location. Uh, so we'll click on the perforations uh, tab here, and we're going to put it in the 111 gr grid block. Um, the next thing we're going to do is add another well. This well is going to be a producer that is going to produce, operate at a surface liquid rate of the same. 75.9 barrels per day. And we'll need to place that well. And the third grid block. And with that, we have a green check mark there. You can go ahead and say validate with uh, IMAX. Um, actually, um, let's save this to something else. Uh, so before we do that, let's uh, save our file, uh, test problem, uh, underscore BL for Buckley Leverett. Uh, then we'll go validate with IMAX run normally immediately, run. And there it ran for four days. Um, we can close this. If we go back to uh, this guy, our uh, launcher, you should see test problem BL, and you should have the IRF file, which you can then drag into results 3D. With that, you should be able to then, for example, plot the saturation uh, and if it progresses through time or the pressure.